Okay, we, uh, we've been buying Pierce trucks. It's the only kind of truck we'll buy. So the, the newest addition to our fleet is gonna be the uh, Enforcer. Um, we bought the Enforcer because it, it allowed us to get the TAC-4 and kept us under budget. Um, it is equipped with a 1,000 gallon tank and a 1,500 GPM pump. And it has some special features on it because we'll be using it out on the main roads around our city. Um, we have a light tower that's mounted on our roof. Uh, we also have a special traffic signaling device on the back side and the sides of the vehicle so that when we're parked at an angle, the traffic advisor will make sure that we move the traffic the right direction. Um, we went with a, uh, the normal cross lays that uh, give us our fast attack lines. Um, our cab is designed to hold six people. Um, instead of the traditional engine where you have your, your hard suction, we decided to move the hose bed uh, out. It makes our bed wider, uh, it allows us to carry more hose basically because we have a, the 1,000 gallon tank. Um, we also hide our hard suction. It gives it a, a cleaner look and it allows us to use the traffic advisor system with the special lights. Um, all the compartments are laid out. Uh, to carry specific equipment, there are, we had the shelves put in. We had all the. We like to have it painted. Then when we get it to Texas, we'll come in here and we'll put in our the uh, the floor covering over the so that we don't scratch it all up. Um, then we always use the LED lighting inside the compartments. It's a lot brighter, it's a lot better. We also now that you have to have the def tank, uh, we split it. Uh, we put our diesel here and we put our def tank here, so that that way it doesn't get mixed up even though there's a blue cap. On the back of the truck, uh, like our other trucks, we like to have the just flat all the way across the back. It uh, gives us a tremendous amount of room in this area right here. And we've got our five inch dump tank there for if we need to do that. Part of our traffic advisor system. And then our hose bed is nice and clean. It's covered. We like the metal covers over the vinyl. And this keeps everything inside and then you can see where we'll put our hard suctions and then we'll have different uh, fast attack lines that'll be on the side and our supply in the middle. This, we have a, we currently have a puck that was built by Pierce, it's a 2009, so this is gonna be identical to the same as that truck. Make it easier for training. And then we come down along this side, we've got our standard compartments. Well, we'll mount all of our tools just like we do on the other trucks. And um, we got the shelves, trays, everything. We laid it out very similar to the other trucks, so that both of them that are coming out of this station will. It's a lot easier to train. Uh, something new that we did add, we added more lights down in this area. Uh, that's something new that we haven't had before. And then uh, on our cab, we uh, went with a six-man cab on this truck. This has got a lot of room in it. It's going to work out really well for us. And then we'll mount all of our radios and flashlights and all that when we get back to Texas. And uh, one of the things on the front of the truck that we did different this time, um, we saw it when we came up, um, was we got a... There's a special high intensity bar across the front that'll give us a lot of front light for the scene light. And then we put our tower light right behind the light bar because we didn't want it up on the roof. We didn't, and we didn't want to have to build a special canopy around it. This way it's protected semi by the light bar when we're driving through the neighborhood and we might run across a tree or something like that. We also went with the new LED lights. We think those will last longer and they'll be brighter and give us better light when we're out on the road. And uh, that's really about it.